So if you're one of these people that really struggle uh, with short game shots and shot selection, I'm going to show you three different ways to play the shot. So the first way is for anyone that's really, really poor at the short game and they find it difficult to get the ball on the green. I'm 40 yards from the flag. There's nothing in the way. And I'm going to put myself in the category of, okay, I'm struggling to break 100, maybe low 90s. I think the best club for you to choose initially is the driver. You could putt it, but I think a driver is a great option. You could use a three wood, you could use a hybrid. Any of those clubs are great. But I'm just going to select the driver because I'm weird. The, the way these clubs are constructed is you get more bang for your buck. So you don't need a very big swing and the ball just comes off the club face hot. And the primary objective for someone that's struggling to break 100 or shoot low 90s, it's let's get it down for three shots from here. However many we're here for, let's get it down and in the hole for three. So the, the primary task is to let's get it on the green. And what I do know is by using this club, it takes the two bunkers out of play. My direction is going to be pretty good, but it's just a case of getting the right length. So there's not a lot of technique. We're just going to use the lack of loft on the club to get the ball rolling, which I've actually done. And that's rolled up about a flag stick and a half short of the hole. So for someone that's struggling to shoot 100 or in the early 90s, job done. You could conceivably hold that. If not, it's a pretty easy two putt. So that's also for someone that's really struggling in their short game. So now we talk about someone that wants to break 90 and maybe shoot low 80. So probably a really good club to choose would be a seven iron. So we're still trying to keep it low. By using a seven iron, we're taking the bunkers out of play. It's gotta be a pretty bad shot The finishes in there. We're still keeping the ball rolling along the ground, but not quite as much as what we did with a driver. So there's a little bit more technique involved, but this isn't really about technique. This is about you practicing and finding out what you're good at. So I'm just gonna try and, and get this ball to land probably about halfway between this dark green patch. We've got this bare patch here, dark green. And remember this shot is aimed at someone that's shooting, uh, wants to break 90, maybe low to mid 90, somewhere in that range. <clears throat> so we'll see how I go. Landed pretty good. And that's got up there and that's rolled up. What's that about? six to eight feet, something along those lines. So I can easily two putt from there. I'm a chance from eight feet. If it's PGA Tour average, I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna miss one. If I'm as good as the PGA Tour average. If not, I'm giving myself a look. I'm a chance. So that's that shot. Now the, the third option is a more lofted option. And I'm going to play this with a sand wedge. So this time we're aiming at someone that wants to break 80 and is in the sort of mid 70s, low to mid 70s, breaking 80. This is probably the shot that most people would go for in that category. You've got to have a pretty good short game to do it. So this is a fairly tight lie. The green's a bit receptive. So I'm going to toss it up there and it should, if I play it correctly, I'm going to land it about a third of the way on and then it's going to start checking first bounce, second bounce and by the time it gets to the third bounce it should be stopping pretty quick. So this is probably the shot that I would choose most of the time but it's a difficult shot. So you need to practice these, all of these shots you need to practice to get good at. So we'll see how I go with this one.
I carried it a bit far, went a bit high. It wasn't quite the shot that I wanted to play, but it's, a, it's probably about eight feet again. So it's about the same as the last one. If I practiced a bit more, and this is the first hit I've had for a month, we've been in lockdown Melbourne and I'm allowed to come to Lang Lang uh, to coach. This is also one of the first hits I've had with my new set of clubs. So my feel isn't quite there, but you know, I've hit a bad shot or a shot that I didn't really like, but it's still eight feet. So they're the three options. So think about what category you're in. And just because you're in one category doesn't mean to say you should never play the other ones. I would always encourage you to practice the other shots so that you can move up a category. But by far the easiest shot of all is the lack of loft on the club, running it along the ground. It is ridiculously easy and it is the most accurate. The most difficult one is the sand wedge, the last one, because if I miss hit it, and I did miss hit that, but I was I'm lucky to get away with it. But if I miss hit it badly or even just an average miss hit, I could easily come up well short or I could blade it over the back. So there's risk associated with it, but get in, practice, get good at it, and that's how you're going to lower your score. Remember that change your score, not your golf swing. There's so many ways you can improve your golf without changing your golf swing. This is only one of them. Thanks for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.